What a mighty fine show on day four. Oh yeah. So just filming your ass. I got my ass cracked. <laughs> on myself this time it's still idling dude it's so weird you want to uh, clear the coats first real quick see if it does anything at all yeah yeah because when they said that thing on the forum earlier about it needing you know at least 5k to start i was like well i guess we can plus minus four thousand to whatever your your thing reads should I turn it off I don't know, maybe turn it off and just turn the key all the way through. It's doing the same thing I did at the gas station last night. Yeah. Trouble codes are gone. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see this still says the fuel rail PSI is like a thousand. So there's no way that's possible. Yeah, that's... That's not possible for it to be that low. It's yeah. literally not. This thing would not be running right now. As the form I read said 5k minimum for injectors to fire. Yeah, that that's what the guy was saying earlier too, so. At least this time we'll be able to actually tell if it's smoking or not while we're driving. Honestly. There's no smoke. Yeah, that's all right, no. I was trying to see if there's any black smoke. It looked like there's a tiny bit, but it could have been just in the road too. dumped out some black smoke that time but it wasn't super thick either it was very thin like gray smoke Climbed around underneath Trevor's truck. We got it back to Wyatt's house. Climbed underneath of it. I found one of the tank lines uh, leading up underneath the cab. It goes from a hard line to a rubber line, and it had a slight leak on it. There was currently diesel on it, and there was another line zip tied to it, and that had diesel all over it. And there was also diesel on the frame right there. It didn't look like it was like pouring out, but it 100% had a leak there. So I pushed the hard line farther into the rubber line. Maybe it'll stop it, maybe it'll help something. I really doubt that's the issue. Uh, what we kind of have concluded is that the lift pump in the tank is clogged. Basically, it's got a filter on it and that filter's either gummed up with shit or something like that because he said uh, when he changed the fuel filter, he said there was a lot of shit in the fuel filter housing and the number three injector that failed that he sent in the company claimed that it was full of shit and it wasn't under warranty because of that uh, so we're, that's given us reason to believe that the lift pump is just completely clogged up and that's why the truck isn't getting full power and that's why it's throwing that check engine light we found a forum where the guy said he was having the same issues we're having that he replaced the injectors did injector lines did all this shit and then he finally dropped the tank and it was the lift pump the entire time uh so he said he installed an air dog we're not gonna be doing that we're also not gonna be doing the lift pump tonight but we are bringing his truck back to his house tonight so it's been stuck at wyatt's house for the past like two weeks uh we're gonna be getting it to his house so right now we're going there to drop the car off and then we're gonna bring the truck there so not didn't fix the problem but it's night and day different than what it was the truck is drivable now the truck was not drivable before so not not really a very interesting video or anything like that but hey part of the life i guess if trevor wants to smoke So 
is so fucking slow. <laughs> Fuck you. Do what? You don't want the Honda. Ronda the Honda be leaving the 7.3 in the dust. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Why is the 7.3 so slow? Damn it. All right, so the last thing you guys saw was uh, Trevor and I racing and the Honda taking the Honda back to his house. So what we did is the Cummins has been stuck at his buddy's, at his buddy Wyatt's house. And he's been driving another friend. Uh, he's been driving their car while they're deployed in Korea. So that's been his transportation. So we got the truck running. Um, it's doing exactly what it was doing before we replaced the injectors. So, in my honest opinion, I think the injectors were never the issue. I think the issue was something else that we haven't found yet. Uh, and I think we replaced everything else, although it didn't really need to be replaced. So, we took the, the car back to his house. I took him back to his buddy's house to pick up his truck. And then he drove his truck home. Now his truck is at his house. I'm on my way over there. This is about three days later. I had to go out of town and help my dad build a pole barn. Uh, but heading over there now, uh, we're gonna drop the tank today. We're gonna drop the tank and see if the screen on the low pressure lift pump is clogged because I've read a couple forums and there are some that kind of had these same exact issues of the truck losing power above 70 miles per hour, your coil light coming on, your check engine light coming on, throwing code P0148 saying fuel delivery error. So we're gonna readjust his injector lines, make sure all of that's tightened down, make sure everything is torqued correctly. And then we are going to drop the tank and check the low, low pressure lift pump because that guy said that's what fixed his problem was the screen was clogged. Now, you guys saw, we put the seafoam in the tank, we put the seafoam in the fuel filter housing, and we did the whole correct procedure uh, from letting it get up to operating temperature, filling the fuel filter housing, and then letting it run for two minutes, and then letting it hot soak for 15 minutes, and then driving it. And guys, I must say, it worked. It worked great. The smoke issues that we were having where we thought an injector might be stuck open went away. We're no longer having those issues. So I wholeheartedly believe that the seafoam actually did the trick. Now I know seafoam is super controversial with diesels because it's alcohol based and it supposedly pulls the water through the fuel filter housing and then puts water inside your motor and you're going to lock up your motor and do detrimental damage and all of that stuff. but from someone who has now honestly tried it, did it the correct way, didn't, didn't take a shortcut with anything, did everything the way Seafoam says to, it worked great. So we're no longer chasing the injectors not working. We wholeheartedly believe the injectors are working great. We're not having any issues with that. The valve lash is correct. Now we're trying to chase where this code is coming from because it's causing the truck to have a lack of power. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop the tank, clean out the, the, the screen. If we drop the tank and it's not dirty, uh, then we're kinda gonna be stumped because we've replaced the fuel actuator sensor, the fuel pressure sensor. Uh, we've replaced all the injectors, the injector harness. Uh, we've replaced all the injector lines. We've replaced every sensor that the form has said to replace. We've done everything except for the low pressure pump. Uh, we've verified the high pressure pump is working properly. So don't we don't really know anything else besides the low filter pump screen has to be clogged. It has to be. So I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this type of content and uh, catch you when we get there. Holy 
shit, my pants are cold. <laughs> all right, so Trevor replaced, well not replaced, but went through and tightened down all the jam nuts on the injector tubes and then tightened down all the injector lines just to make sure everything was on there correctly, everything was tightened down. So we're gonna hopefully test and see if that made the truck any better. Let me drop, grab my scanner. Uh, yeah, we can probably just bring it with us. the sound it made and that's what immediately reminded me of that now no problem what i said yeah i'm dumb <laughs> forgot to tighten down one last crucial thing i wouldn't say you're dumb just did fucking six injector lines jam nuts injector tubes fucking idiot just got one fucking thing And take two. that I actually felt like I was in my seat that time. Yeah, it still blew some black smoke, but yeah, that has a lot more power now. Well, you said the number five was loose? Loose as shit. Fingers crossed that that coat doesn't come back. Fingers crossed. Jesus. Oh yeah. Dude, I haven't felt felt your truck feel like that since I drove it. Uh, if that was the, <laughs> no, I, I will you be happy. I'm gonna be if, not mad, but like upset. <laughs> if that if that, if that was the issue, I'm I'm happy. That means we're fucking done. That that means we're done. Jesus. The sea foam helped the injectors, and we just had a injector line. Hold on just in case you hear that ding. 
<laughs> you hear that ding and sling this bitch into a tree? Son of a bitch! <laughs> I just ordered my rims and tires, so I'd like to see them. <laughs> but Kayla, have fun installing them, remember me. <laughs> Your next video, this is Michaela. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking over from here. It'd be like your channel starting all over again. Like, I don't know shit about trucks, so we're gonna, uh, <laughs> we're gonna figure it out. So far, so good. Alright, well. My anxiety is just like <laughs> right fucking there, though. I'm waiting for it to hear, like, ding! I'm gonna be like, motherfucker! Well, if the check engine light comes back on, I'll let you guys know. Let's get us some China One. Truck's still doing alright so far. Still grub. All right, well, we just made it back from our drive. No check engine light, truck is running great, so that's a great sign. Now we about to grub out and eat us some Chinese food. So I'll pick you guys up in a little bit if we're doing anything after this, but so far, truck is running great, so I think we fixed the problem, finally. Does the Cummins want some smoke? Does the Cummins want some smoke? I don't think the Cummins wants any smoke. I don't think he's about it. He would leave me in the freaking dust. There's a truck out in front of me anyways. Oh, damn it, that would've worked perfect if that guy would've went through that freaking light. That would've been perfect if that guy would've went through that light. Me and him just took off a little bit. We were running about 70, but Trevor's truck is back up and running great. And obviously we're out here driving together, dicking around. Once I get my tuner in, him and I will be a little bit closer. <laughs> Leaves me like freaking nothing. Like nothing. You don't even think my freaking truck was running. I mean, I was sitting in neutral over here. We're in 7.3, slower and shit. Slower and shit. What's bad is if I get into boost, it's okay. It's not, it's not terrible when it's into boost. When it's not in boost, I've, I'm better off walking. Better off walking. You would think I was sitting still. I don't know if you got onto the horn or not. Yeah, I heard the horn. You need to get a video from a stop. Huh? You need to get a video from a stop. Yeah. When I get my tuner in, we'll fucking do it. It might be a closer chance then. Yeah, we need like a we need like a horn and like an actual like red light. Because if I'm not in boost, dude, I won't even keep up with you, like at all. I have to be in the boost. I'm not even gonna talk shit because it's only running for five minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, as long as the check engine light doesn't come back on you and give me shit. <laughs> Alright, see you, man. Up, oh, guys, his truck is back up and running great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot more fun in this video, I feel like, than the last video we did with the injector that we replaced and everything. At least we got some racing with Ronda the Honda and then old blue, the big blue Cummins. Guys, I got a set of wheels and tires. Order. Like confirmation order already sent to my email and everything. And I'm gonna be ordering my tuner, so that's gonna be coming in. So guys, 73 is coming along. 73 is coming along. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, drop a comment on what you guys would like to see, what your favorite type of content is, what you guys want to see me do, any types of mods, anything like that. Let me know down below. Hit the like button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.